What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little head-to-head -head competition between the two solar hybrid heat pumps I have in my house. This is the Eco Solaris one ton solar hybrid heat pump. This is the newest one I've been testing out. If you guys aren't familiar with it, take a look back at my last couple videos, get familiar with the specs, everything to do with it. Uh, we're going to be putting that up against the one you guys are a little more familiar with, the EG4 one ton 12,000 BTU heat pump. I have that one in my kitchen and today we're going to be running them both on the 6000 XP with the indoor wall mount battery. So basically what we're going to do is uh, run each of them for 24 hours and see how much battery capacity each one uses. The unit literally just shut down as I came out here. We're sitting at 100% state of charge. So I'm going to turn the solar off for the next 48 hours and we're going to run uh, first the Eco Solaris, then the EG4. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up and I'll give you a bit more info. Okay, so the garage is currently sitting at 80 degrees. This is not going to be a 100% apples to apples test because one of these is in the garage. It's a little hotter out here, but it's a smaller space. The other one is in the house, which is a bigger space, but it's a little more uh, insulated. So as far as the panel out here, I've got everything turned off. This is to the generator panel in my house. I'm working on that. I'll do an update video on that shortly, but this is to the Eco Solaris heat pump so we're going to run this only for the next 24 hours so i'm going to go ahead and fire it up and i will explain a couple of differences between the two heat pumps while this thing comes up to speed okay so for the next 24 hours this heat pump is going to be set to 72 degrees keeping the garage cool it's got a little bit of heavy lifting to do right now as i said the current temperature in the garage is 80 degrees the outdoor temperature is about 88 the weather looks about the same today and tomorrow so should be pretty close but at the moment it's got an eight degree temperature differential so this thing's going to be ramping up pretty high to get the temperature down if we go over to the 6000 xp we are pulling 370 watts on one leg and 380 watts on the other leg. So we're coming up on 800 watts right now. Um, the way this thing ramps, I wanna talk about that for a minute. They're a little bit different in how these two heat pumps operate. So this one will ramp a little bit more aggressively. If I turn this thing down, say a 10 degree differential, it'll ramp up to a thousand watts, a little bit over a thousand watts. Whereas the EG4 almost never ramps over 750 to 800. So uh, you can kind of take this as a pro or a con. This one I would say is a little bit more comfort priority. If you're looking to get the space cooled in a hurry, it will do it faster than the EG4. It's willing to ramp higher now one one way this one's going to save energy is when it reaches the indoor set point it does turn the compressor off the fan in here will continue to run but the compressor does turn off whereas on the eg4 it will not turn off unless it exceeds the indoor temperature by five degrees so the eg4 almost never turns off whereas this one will shut itself on and off uh, as needed so it'll be interesting to see what is actually more efficient because the eg4 will ramp itself down to you know 180 200 watts at times where this one will just turn off and then when it turns itself back on it may or may not use more power to get caught up so on the 6000 xp app we'll be able to track really accurately the uh the ramping of the power the watt wattage consumption and we'll be able to see uh, which one's more efficient essentially and just to confirm, I do not have the MC4s connected right now. There's no solar input. Since the last video, I have hooked this up to 240 volts, so it's just running straight on AC power for this test. Okay, I forgot to mention we're starting this test at 1.50 in the afternoon, so we're gonna let this run for the next 24 hours. We're already down three degrees. The Nest is reading 77 over here. I'll pop the app up on screen for a second. You can see we're just using a thousand watts, just shy of a thousand watts. So like I said, this one does cool the space off in a hurry, uses a little bit more power, but if your priority is comfort, this one will definitely get the job done. So I'm gonna go inside for a bit. I have a few other things to do and I'll come back and keep you updated periodically. All right, guys, we are a little over an hour and a half in. The garage is down to 70 degrees and the heat pump has just turned off. We are sitting at 89% state of charge on the XP and on the battery. So we've used about a kilowatt and a half in the first hour and a half. It did take a while to ramp down. Like I said, it had about an eight degree differential between the set temp and the current temp. So it did have to work hard. It is shut down now. You can see the fans have stopped on the 6000 XP. So that should be the hardest hour this thing has to go through. From here on out, we should just be maintaining. So I'll keep you updated. 
All right, guys, we're back in the garage. It's right around 6 p.m. We are still set for 72. The unit has ramped down quite a bit now. We're doing about 377 watts. It is capable of going lower than that, but it's pretty hot out right now. I have the thermal camera here, so I thought I would just show you the garage door. Right around 5, 6 p.m., the sun kind of starts beating on this door, and the uninsulated strips here are right around 120, 125 degrees Fahrenheit. So the uh, EcoSolaris heat pump definitely has a little bit more work to go yet today before things start to cool off, but it is doing pretty good. We are sitting at right around 82% state of charge, I believe. Yeah, 82% state of charge, so doing good. We're not running through the power quite as quick anymore, and the garage is sitting at 71 on the Nest. So overall, things are looking good. Uh, like I said, not using as much power anymore. We should be able to get through the night, no problem. Once things cool off, the Eco Solaris is going to have a little bit of an advantage over the EG4 because the compressor will be off for longer periods. Uh, I think I might make a separate video for the EG4. This is going to end up being a little bit too long to do both of them, so I'll check back in in probably three or four more hours. All right, guys, we're back in the garage. It is 9.50 p.m. We've been running this thing for eight hours now on the 6000 XP. We are sitting just below 75% state of charge, and uh, the unit has actually turned off now for the third time. I'll pull the 6000 XP app up on screen so you can see how it's been ramping. Um, now that it's cooled off a little bit, it's getting into the shorter run cycles. It was off for about an hour, just kicked on for 30 minutes, and now it's off once again. So like I said previously, this is where we're going to see the big energy savings from the Eco Solaris. The garage is still sitting at 71 degrees, and... Uh, yeah, things are looking pretty good to get us through the night. Shouldn't use too much power. We've used 25% of the capacity of the indoor wall battery, uh, wall mount battery in the last eight hours. So should definitely get us through the night and uh, well into tomorrow. Should be about the same temperature tomorrow. So I'll check back in in the morning. All right, guys, it is 11 a.m. the next day. The unit has just kicked back on for the first time since about 11 p.m. last night. So we did really good overnight as far as battery consumption, sitting at 64% state of charge. The garage is just now getting up to 73 degrees on the Nest. So just kicking back on for the first time. I'll put the charts up on the screen here for you. You can have a look at the usage overnight. And uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close. We're within a couple hours of the 24 hour mark. Gonna have lots of power to spare. This thing is gonna be working for the next couple hours now that things are warming up again. Like I said, this one has the big advantage overnight because it was pretty much off all night. The EG4 would have been running at a low rate around 200, maybe 250 uh, on the wattage. But if you have a cooler night, this one will definitely save you a little bit more power. I just want to show you guys how quiet this thing is. Usually when I'm out here, my neighbor's AC is running and you can't really hear the Eco Solaris mini split over it, but it's running all by itself right now. Super quiet when it's running at a lower stage like this, around three, 400 watts. Does a pretty good job. All right, guys, we're back in the garage. We are sitting at 55% state of charge after 24 hours of use. So we just ran a 12,000 BTU heat pump totally on battery power for 24 hours and only used a little less than half of the capacity on the 6,000 XP and the indoor Power Pro battery. So that's pretty impressive for both pieces of equipment. That's a pretty efficient heat pump. We did good overnight, had a little cooler night and didn't end up using too much power. It is getting hot out there right now. We're sitting at 90 degrees today. Uh, I'll put the app up on screen for the XP. You can see things have ramped up in the last half hour to meet demand. It's using just a little more power right around 440 watts the garage is sitting at 69 degrees Fahrenheit so things are very comfortable in here I'm gonna go ahead and turn the solar back on we're having a good day as far as Sun today so get that switched on so we can get the battery back up a little bit switch over here that'll take a few minutes to come on but we'll check back in so yeah so far uh, really impressed with both of these this thing did really good um, I'm gonna do the other video on the EG4 in the future gonna have to make a few arrangements as I have the generator panel tied into uh, the system as well so I'll have to separate a few things before I can do that test but so far so good if you want to check out the Eco Solaris or uh, the 6000 XP any of the stuff I used in this video I'll have all the links below so feel free to check out the website and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.